What's up everybody, this is Classic Tycoon here. We're back in the Million Dollar Mission Park to do a top five. And today we're going to do top five best thrill rides, my personal list, in Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. So, let's jump right into it here. At the number five spot, we have the pirate ship. Okay, the pirate ship at number five. The reason why it comes in at number five here um, is mainly because this is a great starting thrill ride, okay? And you can make some adjustments to it. If you guys watched my video of where I, I did Forest Frontiers without any roller coasters, the pirate ship really helped me out here. Now, if you just build the pirate ship with its standard ratings, this is what you're gonna get right here. But you can go into your settings and you can change the number of swings. And if you change it, if you make the swings, um, if you change it to the max number of swings, which is 25, it will increase the intensity rating and guests that prefer more intense rides will ride it. Other than that though, it's just a great starting ride um, to put into your park to get some guests interested in the park. It's cheap. Um, and yeah, it's just a really standard classic, classic ride all the way back from RCT one day. So this is one of the, uh, one of the best rides in the game and one of the most recognizable rides in the game. You guys definitely have a lot of memories of building this ride in the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 when it first came out. So at number five, the pirate ship. Coming in at the number four spot here, we have the Motion Simulator. The Motion Simulator was introduced, I believe, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong or not. It might have been in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. But um, this is another great ride. There's a, What I like about the Motion Simulator is it looks really good. It looks really like a modern ride. Um, definitely ahead of its time in this game. You know, reminds me of Star Tours or something from Disneyland. And very, very good ratings. Anyone pretty much will ride this ride. It's got an intensity rating of a 4.1, and that's at the, uh, but that is at the, the max <coughs> settings of this ride. You do have two options in your settings here for, for the guests to watch because they're basically they're in there watching a movie right while they're going through this motion simulator and you've got the option of the film either being thrill riders which is the more intense film or the film avenging aviators which will be a little bit less um, intense and will also be less nauseating for the guests but really good ride i most of the reason why I like this ride so much is the look of it. A um, very modern, spacey looking ride. I think it's uh, a great ride to have in your park if it's available for you to build. Again, coming in at number four, the Motion Simulator. At the number three spot, we have the Top Spin. The reason why I like the top spin so much is because you can pretty much get those um, those roller coaster intensities out of this ride. You've got a lot of variation that you can do. There are three different options for this. You can have, you know, I don't like to duplicate rides exactly in my park. So when you've got the top spin, you basically have three different options for rides you can do. This is the uh, beginner mode but you ha also have an intense mode and the berserk mode if we go in here and look at our different settings. And so there's the beginner mode right there. You can see those are pretty low excitement rating, but the intensity rating is a 4.8, a medium. If I go here, I've got a berserk running and you've got a high intensity rating with a medium excitement rating. So this, if you've got these, um, available at the beginning of the park, they're great for starting out because that will, you know, satiate the guests that are looking for intense rides and you know are going to be more interested in riding the roller coasters 
until you build your first roller coaster. That's why I put the Berserk mode that you see on the right here. That was one of the very first rides that I built when I started doing the Million Dollar Mission. Because, again, it, it satisfies those guests that are looking for more intense rides. So at number three, we have the Top Spin. Coming in at number four here, or sorry, number two, number two is the Launched Free Fall. And this is just a really nice looking ride. Um, very exciting ride for the guests to ride. And you've got a couple of different options as well. But you can do so much with this ride. One of my favorite things to do with the ride is build the, uh, the actual station underground and then the the guests will shoot up out of underground that's not the case with this ride but i do do that very often um, you can wrap other rides around this one like you can see what we did with the the uh, water drop there and it's just a really really good ride you've got two modes that you can do you can do the launch upward launch or the downward launch the downward launch will rise up like the roto spin does and then it will uh, just drop once it reaches the top which if you've ever ridden a, a ride like this is actually one of my favorite rides to ride in real life that's kind of why I'm a little biased here and I put it here but the ratings are good you can get very intense ratings for this ride um, which the guests will enjoy and yeah just a fantastic ride at number two the launched free fall And at number one, you guys probably saw this coming, is the go-karts. Okay, we're going to watch Damon Hill here. Um, that's, I mean, you guys have probably watched my uh, cheats videos. And if you have, renaming the guests for the go-karts is one of the most, you know, time-consuming, time-wasting things that you can do in Roller Coaster Tycoon is just renaming guests and watch them, you know, do their little their little secrets, little Easter eggs that Chris Sawyer put in the game. So this is Damon Hill here. You can see his absolutely destroying everybody. But then once he gets to the back of the pack, it's like when you're on the freeway and you've got uh, three lanes ahead of you and you're wanting to go 70 miles an hour, but the three cars in front of you are all going you know, 61, 62 miles an hour, and they're just going right next to each other and you can't get past them. That's what I feel like Damon Hill is going through here as he finishes up this ride. <clears throat> but talking about the ride itself, obviously the go-karts, you build the track yourself. So you've got, it's very, very customizable. Um, one of the most customizable thrill rides in the game. So that's pretty much the main reason why I really like this ride but it's also fun to interact with the guests you can watch them race through see who wins um, it's just a really fun roller or fun ride to watch as well as build and and design and you can get some really high excitement ratings out of it as well so that is one of the best uh, one of the reasons why I think that this is the best thrill ride in the game just a lot of a lot of fun to build any ride that you can build with a track i feel like is more enjoyable to build you can see the excitement rating i got out of this was pretty high so it's a fun fun ride to build that's, that's the reason why i like it you do have to be careful with the go-karts um because guests will have to wait in line a long time so either you can do two things either do do not build along you can okay you can do a couple things so you can change it from race mode and do continuous circuit mode um, but the problem with that is the guests get a very short ride time so it's going to drop your excitement rating by a lot um, race mode makes it a lot more exciting for the guests so what i do is i leave it in race mode make your cue path short and then you can also put an entertainer nearby uh, just to help out with that with that, um, with the guests not getting you know too bored in line. So that is my tips for your go karts. But other than that, it is um, an absolute joy to build these rides. They're a lot of fun.
and you can do so much uh, so much with any track that you build, you know, custom build. I'm a huge fan of building custom built rides. You guys already know that. So, all right, guys, that is my top five thrill rides. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if you did like it, and I'll catch you in the next one.